Sam Roman, and I've written a poem about the struggles that um, foreign people may encounter when integrating themselves into a foreign country and their culture. It's called Pom Mai Khao Jai. You arrive, mind processing the optimistic uncertainty, yet the strange buildings do not soothe or comfort. The statue, inanimate eyes staring back, passionless, a freakish figure from a foreign world. You gaze back, his eyes judging that shadow before him. Pom Mai Khao Jai. A station, so familiar, yet strange, unusual. The letters on the signs don't form words. The voice on the speaker doesn't make sentences. She ends a conversation as you approach the booth, thinking, failing to convert your thoughts into their language. Pom Mai Khao Jai. Where are the rambutans, the durians, the flavours from your childhood? Those mundane foods disappear as you reminisce of when things were simple. Only your lake and your house and your family. No confusion. She takes the strawberries from your gaping hand, requesting money that is not yours. Pom Mai Khao Jai. Yet your room is still a haven. The foreign weather still seeps through the sashes, yet here your culture is free. The songs dance across the walls as your mind empties its captive chatter. Pom Khao Jai. My name is Ayn and I have made the poem Justice for, for Diversity. My poem is about how language unites us all. Mi mente, je pense, in the long-awaited dunkel height, for free of dulle, free of tranqui, free of suffermento, yet still there is no justice. No longer do I feel the whip, no longer must I long for friet, for here I think, in the tranquilo, and calm, yet still I have no justice. Others live in misery and try to fight for libizone. Many will soon be here to join me to fight for what is right, yet too they will not have any justice. But who will know, who shall care, that there is no justice? Don't you think it, will be, it would be schrecklich? Wouldn't it be triste? If there was just one single sprache, which was the only language we had, it would be like if everything was violet, or rouge, or blau, or verde, ze jaune, rosé, or de orange. Can you just imagine how uncreative and boring the world will be if that was all we got to hear, just one language? Because our language gives us just justice. Language, language. Lingui, etwas which unites us all with diversity, unsimplicity, and publicity. Together we learn, Zusamin, we aspire to know more about each other. Language will teach us the names of justicia, the rules of Lieben, as forever it makes us more richer, and will never leave our precious souls behind us. Most no un. Lots knows why, some know tre. No matter how many, the diversity will thrive for many, many years to come. Together, forever, we'll live on forever, letting language thrive when we get our justice together. Hi, I'm Kiri, and my poem is about how my parents were used to be in Sri Lanka and how they came to England. So this is my family story. The war was at its peak state, so life wasn't great. Over in Alon Kostapadda, I finally found a place to go to, England. When my mum met my dad, this place was not bad. Ugarenum Rashiavum, Ulaga Ame the Ake, Kedakum Vare, Nimidiaga Iranlanga, every day eating stuff like pasta. It took quite a while to settle in their new home, but they had nobody, nowhere else to roam. Then my sister and I came along to stay here lifelong. And I came to Queggs for my cousins to mistake it as Greggs. Even though I've seen other people like me that exist, I was still astonished when I talked to other bilinguists. Ellos hablaban español, il parle fran francés, urtu bol tata, aibar ayan albanach, anal nan tamil pesigiren, perumi padigiren. My name's Hector Inglis and this is my poem. Just this English. I am English. I speak my native tongue. I'd love to speak two languages. It sounds a lot of fun. If I met a Frenchman, it would be nice to say, I speak your language, I parlez-vous français.